Welcome to another installment of a new colony because I'm not going back to that other one. But we learned a lot. Essentially the mods, um, I just added a couple research pal, recolor stockpiles, level up alert, and to give us stats of people who are coming to join. Um, so that's it. I wanted to find something that would disable toxic fallout and blight. I don't know how to do that. I didn't see any mods or rather during my brief search, the only ones I found were not updated to 1.0. So those are still in the game, unfortunately. Oh, they're such a pain in the ass. Um, we're going to do the same thing. Crash landed. on medium with Cass. What? Oh, reload at any time. We only save scum once and that's going to maintain. Maybe we could have turned things around for us if we save scum more, but I don't I don't want to play like that. So, <clears throat> innards. Overall rainfall, normal. Overall temperature, normal. That's all I pretty much want to do. Generate. I'm not looking to make this game like easy mode, but I'm going to have some further consideration as to where I put my colony. I'm so sick of freaking cold snaps. Um, and we're not going to want to go anywhere that's within a swamp. So essentially, like, this is probably going to be disgusting. Wow, I didn't know you could do this. Um, I don't want to be in a desert. Water is apparently a non-issue. The thing is, if I went in, like, one of these plains, am I not going to have anything to mine? Is that what's going to happen? Because I don't want to go anywhere that's particularly mine-heavy. However, no, these aren't going to do what we want them to do. If they weren't in the freaking center, like that one's off to the side. Oh, and we also want to be away from people. This is like Swamplands? Am I right? No, that's like more swampy up there. Do, do, do. This, I think, is going to be a fine location. Why? Because if we need to excavate in the other areas we have resources to do that. There's there's stuff to mine around here. So I'm going to go here. Do, do, do. Animals can graze. Average disease frequency 1.2 per year. I have no idea if that's good or bad. Average temperature is from 34 to 87. That looks pretty decent, eh? not too cold next so another thing we're just not going to have anybody that's incapable of doing dumb labor it's just not going to happen um let's go see who we have shooting yeah what was your shooting skill you're a wimp god you're a piece of crap just randomize i can already tell I don't know if that's good or bad for us. Abrasive. In any case, she's good at planting, so that's real good. You sound like a keeper, actually. And how's her shooting? 
to zero. Kind of sucks. You're decent at planting too, and you got a passion for it. Night Owl. Good at shooting. Do any of you guys cook? One. Cooking three. Okay. You're incapable of dumb labor, so get out of my life. You're also an undergrounder. Listen. Has no need to experience the outdoors or light. She has no need. Does that mean she's going to get a debuff if I put her outside? And he's not bothered by darkness. I mean, that just sounds fine. Like, you don't necessarily need to be in a cave, dude. I wish her melee wasn't so... Like, the mining is off the charts, and the construction is. I don't want to min-max this, but... You're shooting. You're our cook, right? Yes. You are... Construction, mining, crafting. You do planting as well. You're good at shooting, so you can be a hunter. You're good at medicine. I'll go with you. Greedy. He needs a really impressive bedroom. He gets a mood loss if he doesn't get what he wants. That's going to like piss me off. <laughs> I'm sorry to so say. Get randomized. Creepy breathing. Shooting good. Intellectual. You're pretty much all over the place. Uh, incapable of caring, incapable of social. Social stats for other people. Not high. But you're really good at everything else. Alright, we'll go with these. We can't be that picky. Other people are going to come along. So start. Linda, Ma'am, and Lisa. Well, have at it. So, in the beginning, we're going to take things a little slower. I'm not going to jump to three speed right off the bat. I want to take a look around. This is actually a lot of mining potential. But I really... I like this so far. What is that? Wild heel root. Oh, baby. This is what I foresee. This whole area right here is going to be our kingdom. We're going to have things centrally located for housing, for doing stuff around the work encampment, and then along the perimeter with a wall and everything like that, as well as kill boxes. The perimeter here, like here, here, and here are going to be our crops. So we're going to set up shop essentially in this area. That's my thoughts. How are the trees? <clears throat> this is like more desert wasteland than I anticipated. Or is it just, no, it's spring. Okay. Okay, here's the deal guys. Now, considering I just don't understand Let's just prioritize these people real quickly. Basic. You don't even need to warden at the moment, but that'll be set to number one. We don't need to handle. We don't have to handle. Let's not even worry about it. You're at three. You're at three. You're at four. You are our cook in the event that we have cooking. Who's our hunter? One, 1.5, 6.5. Congratulations. You are now our cook. You. 
Oh no, our hunter. 10, 4. Uh, minus 3. You're a grower. Grower. Plant cut. Plant cut. Can you mine? You can mine. And your mining is off the charts. I feel like mining at the moment is going to be pretty important. Smithing, for the time being, art, crafting, art will not ever be on there. Hauling is going to be a number three. Research can be four. Cleaning is not even that important. This is real bad so far. Um, so that being said, Linda is going to grab our only pistol, I guess. Please equip. No! I didn't see this over here. Please equip this. On 1 and 1.5. Ma'am. We need a stockpile. So I think this is going to be where we set up shop. So Just for the time being, this can house everything, except for corpses. Okay. That's allowable. That's allowable. Please haul this immediately. Now, where was this? We want beds first. And this is not going to forever be for beds. But for the time being. What are you guys doing? Just hauling stuff, eh? Building stuff too. Nice. Everybody's got a bed. Are we all out of wood already, eh? Well, these things happen. Orders. Chop wood. Essentially, chop wood for the rest of your entire life.
please haul this. I don't know where they're gonna haul it. Actually, haul urgently. Yeah, there's no spot for it. Uh, I don't want chunks there. I just don't want that there. I guess they can get around to the other side. All right, for now, cancel that. Um, so there's our food. There's our torch. There's our home base. The next most important thing is production in the form of a butcher table, which will be here, as well as a, what's that cooking thing? Fueled stove, which needs steel, of which we don't have. How did we ever get steel before? All right, here's some stuff. Why don't we look around? That's not what steel looks like. Like that needs to be deconstructed. That'll give us some steel. I know you can cook with a campfire. What is that? So if that's what we have to do initially, then that's what we'll do. This is steel. Please haul this. There. That's going to be enough for us to build the stove. We have one geothermal over there. You know, you know, you know. We have one geothermal up here. It would have been nice. Did I already schedule that? Yes. I mean, that's going to be within our kingdom. It's good at, that we have at least one geothermal location. There's a second one over here, so I can make do with these two eventually, if we ever get to that position. Um, a field stove for now. Um. It's going to be very slow going for the time being. We are going to want to make a walk-in freezer. We're going to make, want to make a walk-in freezer that has capacity for an airlock. So, this isn't a bad location. Great, no. What were you expecting? This is all the same one, right? Yes, good. When you say raw resources, and when you say plant matter, you know. So, 
Then we're going to need, after this, an over-the-wall cooler system. Eventually, this stuff will end up being rebuilt out of some sort of stone. For now, that doesn't need to be. However, Don't tell me what to do. And get that monkey out of there. Holy crap. You can't be sleeping in our freezer. You did not just feed that monkey, did you? No. Wait. You're our pet? Can you do anything? It doesn't know how. What a worthless animal. Do not feed it. Honestly, the second we have our freezer up and running, this thing's getting slaughtered. It doesn't do anything. By the way, did somebody haul my steel? They did. Do I need components for this? No, they did it. You guys are fucking awesome. Alright. So what is our lifeline at the moment? Please see to it that this no longer allows fresh and no longer allows foods. This will also no longer allow items in the form of... Where's medicine? Manufactured medicine. Don't allow medicine. Do allow. Thank you. Target temperature. Hell yeah, dude. Look at that. This is like day one, right? Or like day two? Day one. Day one. What else do we need? I feel like we can just survive like this. Game over. We win. I would like to continue chopping the wood. Please, wood trap. So what we're going to have to do We're pretty up there in that corner of the map, eh? Yeah, this isn't very central However, it is a pretty big location. We just have to make it our own. And if we need to expand, we will at a later date 
Wait a minute. What is this? Is that in line? Kinda looks like it. That looks way smaller now. This is barely gonna be enough for like our initial base, but we can expand it, we can make it bigger. This is as far as I can zoom out. However, we can make a secondary. That's new. Um, if you guys ever watch Attack on Titan, this will be like the interior, and then the second area will have like, you know, more rural type activities and like the furthest areas the furthest reaches are going to be like farmlands and you know grazing whatnot um for the time being though I don't know. It, they should at least give me a few days before a raid comes or something. I don't want to half-ass our kill box, and I want to try and plan somewhat strategically as to where I want that to be. Basically, for the time being, I could see this. Serving. Or maybe this. We'll cancel this. You know, the AI is not going to like this. It's such a roundabout thing. However, It'll afford me So this is going to allow us access. We're going to put another door in here, and whenever we need to refill traps, we're going to have just a shitload of doors mm. along here. Um, anybody, any raiders that are coming, if they're going to go along the route of, or the path of the least resist resistance, it, they will hopefully walk around from whatever edge of the map that they spawn upon, and come around, come through the fuck corridor, and... If I have to, I can extend this out and have it trace down this entire block. Um, 
this is going to need to be double walled to try and prevent people from doing such things. So, for the time being though. I don't know. For the time being though. I just want this wall set up first. So, get going. We're gonna have to put some gates in so people have access to outer reaches. So first off, pathing is going to start off as disliking all of this. Yeah, whatever. Um, is everybody boxed in? Yeah, we're fully boxed in. So, some things need to die. First off, monkey. <sighs> when it says Masters Linda, Linda likes you. Linda, Linda, Linda. How would you feel if we didn't, though? I feel like it's just better to get this out of the way early. I don't want it here. The squirrel can get hunted. you're going. Are you bleeding? No, but you're soon to be. Oh, I almost feel bad for it. But it was an accident. A mad hare. See? Already. This is now haulable. Haul urgently. So there's that. We'll have a door here.
telling you, monkey. You go over that enough times. It's like he knows he's going to be slaughtered. That's not ideal, obviously. However, they're going to hopefully have to like learn not to go and hit those. That's enough traps, I think, to take care of our first raid. And probably for like a long term. Hmm. Yeah, these traps are not ideal. Ideally placed. I should consider this not having anything right here. But until somebody gets hurt, you don't have to do. Okay, so we never put any bills on. By the way, how warm is this? Negative two. Perfect. Please butcher for the rest of your life. Do forever. Please make simple meals for actually ever. Please harvest those. Please harvest this. Harvest. We have a lot of berry bushes. And a lot of heal root. That's pretty nice. So now... I think we need to... Certainly consider putting a double wall. We need a gate. That south gate, this will be your west gate. We'll put it right here. North gate. We have a heat wave. East gate. We should probably put a north gate. We need another south gate. Like, south gate should be, like, south gate on this side. Eh, yeah, I'd rather not. Now, I could be wrong. However, let's take a look at our remove roof area. Can we show roof areas? Um, This area here should not allow infestations, but it might. It's not open space. We just don't dig into it, and we should be fine. Like, is there any actually, like, there's no spaces, I, I don't think at all, that would be. Like, once we start mining, 
this compacted machinery, that's probably going to be a location where... I don't know. It's something we're going to have to live with. But we're not building into a rock face, so we shouldn't deal with the same issue that we did. What is this stuff? What is this? Oh. It's just like shimmering, I guess, because it's so freaking hot out. For the time being, this is going to be set to medical. We still have a boatload of wood. Um, recreation. You guys love your horseshoes. Like, apparently, you don't even need two. I just gotta put one in a corner, and you guys will go freaking buck wild for it. I'm a very nice overlord. Okay. Well, I was going to say, okay. Now that we have this, we can start planting some crops. Um, I want to wait till I issue those orders until... until our walls completely built. This is probably a little overkill in the beginning. But you never know. I'm not good with confrontation against raiders, or anything for that matter, so if we don't have traps, we're probably going to die. What are you guys doing? Better not see any talking going on. It's just work. Um, stuff that should be killed. Like, this can be killed. I'd love for this to be killed. Kill those turkeys. Hell yeah, brother. Please cut this plant down. <laughs> I can't just have a bush growing in there. How do we have a raid already? That's not possible. Everybody, please. To your battle stations. Get drafted. Please come here. Is this not... We don't have a door set up there. F. We don't have a door set up there. Who are you? He's a uranium knife? That is like high level knife play. Igniting wooden wall. What a piece of garbage. I don't think we have a choice in the matter.
Okay. <sighs> Torso and spine bleeding out in 13 hours. His bio. He's good at cooking. He's incapable of social, artistic. Also an undergrounder. Psychically hypersensitive. That's even worse. It's a shame because he's pretty decent. Like, Honestly, we get so much of those psychic drones. I don't know. Is that worse than what we saw? Because, like, some people are just psychically sensitive, right? Like, hypersensitive is, like, another level beyond that. Let me check. Yeah. Just looking like at Reddit, it's just like psychically hypersensitive is an automatic pass. So, so is like pyromaniac, wimp, jealous, incapable of dumb labor, chemical fascination. Yeah. Sorry, bro. Who won't care so much if we just let this guy die? Like, first off, allow this. Second off. Needs bio, sorry. Quick sleeper, that's nice. Alright, so we need like a human corpse area. What are you doing? Eating? Okay. If we had a chem fuel, biofuel, something or other. We want a mass grave then. Carry on. Oh, sorry, Rash. I didn't even see you were out there. Poor guy, he needs help. Is anybody? Oh, no. Damn, everybody's busy. Can somebody please prioritize making these doors? What are you guys doing? Playing horseshoes on my time? I can't believe we had a freaking raid already. Granted, okay, so five days have passed. Feels like we've gotten nothing done. These doors need to be priority though, once you guys wake up. Who's our best worker? Construct, 13. Man, once you wake up, ma'am, eat some food. I gotta get you guys a table. Please prioritize working on that door. Please prioritize. Well, that's sealed off already. That's also sealed off. Okay. Okay.
just, I don't know, it's a little disconcerting from just right off the bat that the first raider's first inclination was to set our wall on fire. <laughs> that sucks. Hopefully not many others follow suit. But we're working on stuff, so... I would like a storage shed, actually. Like, this is Swampland. It's pretty shitty. Um, So that'll be a storage. I certainly see the use case for... Yo, where's our silver, by the way? Oh, okay, because it came out. This stuff needs to be hauled urgently. By the way, monkey, how are you not slaughtered yet? Is it because you're bonded to Linda and Linda is our hunter? It is. Interesting. All right. Congratulations. You've escaped being slaughtered. Okay. So, something I've realized. Please refill this immediately. Something else I've realized. We need... We haven't researched batteries. That's bad. Okay. So that needs to be a thing. I can micro this for the time being, but that needs to be a thing. I just, I want all their construction to be finished for the time being. So if they're going to cook for a bit, then let them cook for a bit. That's got three, yeah, that's three days worth of fuel, so that's fine. We are in spring, um, it would be beneficial to have a grow zone. That'll be potatoes. And I will have another grow zone. The zone of grow. I hate that. I hate that it has to look like that. In the event that we get blighted in one end or the other, we'll at least 
hopefully have one harvest. You botch one more construction, and I swear to God, Linda. I think <clears throat> I'm going to play up until they finish our wall and then I'm going to call it for this episode, but you'll have the general idea of what we're going to be aiming for this time around. The good plan would be something along the lines of getting geothermal in here, as well as potentially some other uh, avenues of electricity, and roofing this entire area, putting some grow lights down, and not having to worry about toxic fallout or snow or cold and just have everything enclosed except for obviously this area that needs to vent but that would be a pretty decent idea that we could work towards hell yeah that's complete do we have double doors over here yes we do now they just have to do it up here and we'll be fine Ancient danger. So that's our ancient danger over here. Okay. This means this is completely off limits. This whole pocket in here, like this is going to still be mined. It's compacted steel. What do you want me to do? Um, this should be safe. I'm just assuming this structure here going in, who knows how deep. Obviously not up to the wall. Just don't fucking touch it. Never touch it. Ever. That was such bad news though. I was literally just about to be like, well, this was a wasted hour where we start the game. Ah, garbage lords. Well, that's fine. It's got stone blocking it, so. Okay, that is our base. Enjoy it. Get used to it. We're going to be seeing a lot of this screen. That'll call it. So let's save. This is called Debirium. Dab for short. And I'll be seeing you guys. Bye.